Now in the first part of this question then we've got the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y equals 12 and we're asked to find the center and the radius. Now just very quickly in case you've forgotten what the equation of circle is, equation of circle basically has the form x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared where x1 y1 is the center coordinates of the circle. So let's just write that in there. The center then has coordinates x1, y1 and the radius is r. So in order to do that, to find the center and the radius, what we've got to do is get this equation in this format. And what it involves is completing the square. So what we do is we first of all put the x terms together, so we've got x squared, and then we've got the minus 6x, then we've got the y terms, we put those together, plus y squared, and then plus 4y, and then it's up to you whether you bring the 12 across or not, I'm going to just leave it there, it doesn't matter either way. Then what you've got to do is take this pair of terms here, x squared minus 6x, and in the usual way for completing the square, what you do is you just put a bracket up like this with a squared, put an x here, and you halve this number, the coefficient of x. So we've got minus 6 here, you just halve it, and that's minus 3. Now if you were to square this out, in the usual way, you'd get x squared minus 3x minus another 3x, that's the minus 6x, and you'd get plus 9. But there is no 9 here, so what we do is we just take that off. So this gives x squared minus 6x. And then the same way we complete the square for y squared plus 4y. So what we do is we just put a bracket with a squared on the outside, half the coefficient of y this time, half plus 4 and that's plus 2. Now if you were to square this out you get y squared, first term here, you get 2y and another 2y which is 4y this term, but you get 4. There is no 4 here, so you subtract it, take away 4. And so this is another way of writing x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y. And then this equals 12, so we just write equals 12 on the end. Okay, so we've done that, and it's getting close to this format. All we need to do is simply group together the minus 9 and the minus 4, which is minus 13, add 13 to both sides and what you end up with is x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared equals 12 add the 13 which is 25. So now we have it in that form we can compare it to this and we can see that therefore the center of the circle has coordinates 3 because x1 will be the 3 and here we've got minus minus 2 to make the plus 2 so the y coordinate for the center is going to be minus 2 so you've got center at 3 minus 2 and what's the radius and we have the radius well that's clearly r squared is 25 so we've got the radius squared if you like is 25 so therefore the radius is going to equal square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, so that's the center, and that's the radius, and that brings us to the end then of the first part of this question.